right guys, here is another video for hybrid safety or electric vehicle safety. Back, let's go back to Atlanta. So as we have written before on LinkedIn and where we have did a lot, a lot of rumor about it, we have been part of the Skills USA 2022. So just a few days ago or weeks ago, basically right now, where we have been to Atlanta. And we had our hybrid electric vehicle trainer there, or specially known in the US as our ACE EL3 trainer, which you see over here. So that guy was, was really, or did a really good show there. What I've heard so far, um, the contestants really loved that trainer. But today I'm not going to talk about the trainer. Today we will do a step backwards and focus a very simple but so important topic. Today we're going to talk about the PPE and especially about the gloves. So during the contest we have seen that a lot of people really had problems with figuring out which glove they should use. This is pretty scary because these gloves, you do not wear these gloves for your instructor, you do not wear the gloves for the workshop manager or for anyone else, you just wear these gloves for yourself because they are your last line of defense. And I think the problem here is why the guys, the young guys out there are a little bit easy on that topic is because they do not sense the high voltage. I mean, Let's go to the kitchen when you have a pizza in the oven. You never would take out the pizza with these kind of gloves, would you? So I think it's pretty sure or everyone is aware of that when they sense the heat, they will take the right gloves or anything else so that they do not get burned. Basically the same we do have here with a high voltage. But the problem is when you sense the high voltage, it's definitely too late. But we should always think about this PISA example and when we yeah, go to the high voltage car, think about a hot oven and you won't touch it without the right PPE. So let's have a look at the different gloves here. You see I have a pair of different pairs of gloves and you can imagine none of them or not all of them are the right ones which we can wear and where we are safe at the car. So for example, just let's start with the yellow ones over here. So when we have a look at the gloves, there are certain informations on it. And the most important informations which we need to know is the class and the last test date. So when I have a look at this one, I see class zero, thousand volt. That's correct. So keep in mind, we need class zero. These gloves should be able to protect yourself up to 1000 volt. So that's basically when we have this protection, then we are pretty much safe because there are more or less no cars which are gonna above 1000 volts there. We know there for certain car manufacturers, they have even different gloves, more thicker gloves, Audi for example, for their uh, latest electric vehicles, which even go up to 1,500, I think. But basically, class zero, 1,000 volt, you're good to go. And this has to be written on the glove. Don't assume it, don't read it anywhere else, don't read it on the paper or on the packaging around it, don't let it been told you by a colleague or whatever, it has to be written on the gloves. So it must be set there, class zero, which is down here. So um, we have this in the course. You don't have to read it right now, but you have to find the information. Like I said, it's written here in the red box, for example, where it says class zero. So a zero as a digit, basically. And it says somewhere max use, thousand volt AC. Very important. And of course, it has to be written on both. So it doesn't make sense when just it's written on one side. It has to be written on both gloves. So the other very important thing is the test date. The test date says, or the official rule is, don't use gloves which are older than six months. So basically, older doesn't mean the production date, but they have, have to be tested within the last six months. If you are just one day out of date, don't use them anymore. Just make sure when there is a certain um, 
he says, for example, certain date, June 6, 2019. Okay, that's a no-brainer. We are definitely out of six months here. So this is not gonna work. But what you're gonna do now? Do you have to throw away these gloves? Of course not. There are testing institute and there are um, bodies which are institutions which are able to test the gloves and which can give official certificates that they are still okay and that they are still good to use. So if you have the possibility to retest them, don't throw them away. Get them tested that you can use them for another six months. So, but just make sure that you only use gloves which are not older tested than six months. So, okay, so what do we learn? Class zero, thousand volt, and test date within the last six months. That means these guys are out of the game because they are out of date, even when they have the right class. So, what about these guys here? They look a bit weird, so I would be a little bit worried about them at all. They look also really thin. And here we see, so we don't even have to worry about the test date because when we speak about these ones over here, again, it's down here in the box. So you basically find it at all the different gloves around here. Here it says class zero, zero, and that's bad. Maybe you think now, ah, when class zero, a thousand volts, class zero, zero must be better. No, it's not, forget about it. Class zero, zero is just up to 500 volt. You're not allowed to use them, even when they are tested within the last six months, they are crap for what you're gonna do when you wanna work on the high voltage vehicles. That doesn't work. So they are out of the game as well. Let's come to these guys over here. Look pretty cool, huh? Well, funny color as well. And as you see it here, same thing, all the information are written down here. So what do we have? Class zero, 1000 volts, perfect. Tested in March 2021. Okay, that's another problem because then they are also out of date. But even when we assume, so just let's assume that these ones are good to go, even when they would have been tested in 2020 and they would have been okay, but definitely we have to test them. Okay, and let's just check how we test them. So don't do any weird stuff like that or uh, we have to do a proper test. So that means we need to get air in it and then we have to roll it up properly. So don't hurry on that. You, it's about your own safety and you should take your time in order to make sure that your safety equipment is tested well and it's, that this is gonna protect you. So don't spend one hour on it, but five seconds or 10 seconds for testing gloves is too less. So what do we see here now? I do it again, see here? I wrap it up. So I try to do it really tight here, okay? But I see that the air is not keep, this guy is not keeping the air. So, okay, what's the problem here? And when I check this, I see now, oh, there, there's a hole in it, okay? And this is a big hole, basically, what we see here now. So it's very clear to us that the air will go. But there could be tiny holes. Just imagine when you work at the engine bay, there are really tiny, sharp edges, which can hurt the, or dis, um, destroy the glove somehow with really tiny holes. So that means the air won't go like whop, but it will maybe take five or six seconds until the air goes out and you really can sense it that the air is leaving the glove. So in this case, we also test the other one because you always have to test both ones. So on the one hand, when one is done, of course, you can't forget about this pair of gloves. You need another one, but don't, I've seen it very often that the people just test one glove and not the other one. So, but here, I just want to show you the difference as well. And there you see this guy is now keeping the air. And this really takes some time. Don't just do it within a second and go away. This is about your own bloody safety, okay? It's just for you. You are doing that for yourself, that you are able to work safely on these vehicles. So really take your time. And here we see, we can sense it. You say at least 10 seconds. 
and no air is coming out. So this guy would have been good, but anyway, because this one is done, these guys, we can also not use them. So what about these ones here? So don't let, let your, make your um, confused by this weird red color. They are covered in some special, yeah, dusty thing basically, which protects the gloves during their shipping, transport, or when they are in stock somewhere. So this just keeps the um, gloves okay, and it's not bad for them. So when we have a look at these ones now here, we have class zero, thousand volts, perfect. We have test date from 18th of July. So today, basically, we have tested them. And yeah, of course, now we also roll them up to make sure that they are okay. And they, this one is really, really good here. Yeah, yeah, perfect. The other one as well, always test both, always test both. And this one, yeah, also pretty good. So these ones were the right to use. When you know on what you have to look, class zero, thousand volt, test date within the last six months. See that there are no holes, no scratches, no surface or funny things with the surface has happened when you put them in the sun, for example. Don't put these gloves in the sun. When they lay in the hot sun for a whole day, it, something will happen to them. Even if you do not see it right now, we have really um, observed really strange things which has happened to the gloves and that they definitely have changed their normal material structures and yeah you won't you won't be able to use them anymore and you have to get rid of them so put them on a dry dark safe space where you can store them where nothing happens to them and then you're good to go so now we have chosen the right gloves but there's also a little bit more to it so in order to protect the gloves that they do not get damaged, we have special leather gloves here. So I hope it's the right, yeah, left, right hand. So these are these ones. They have no electrical protection, not at all. They are just for mechanical protection, okay? And we have seen funny things in the US, for example. I started, I'm gonna show you. Okay, let's go. The guys even, look for the right gloves and then this happened. That doesn't make any sense at all. Please think about what you are doing, okay? This one is for the mechanical protection and this one is for the electrical protection. The right way is the other way around. So basically, you put on first this glove and then you can put on this glove. So this glove is now very thick because this is a special glove. This glove has a cutting protection already integrated. So you see that here, basically, there's a special sign with a hammer, which shows a hammer. It's called flex grip in that kind. So this one has an integrated cutting protection, so where you do not necessarily need these gloves. And furthermore, it has a black inside. So that means you can see cuts and holes very easily because the black color will shine through, okay? So, but please, mechanical protection. This is the last layer, this is the first layer. And if you have to use, or if more guys have to use these gloves at the same time, you can use, of course, these ones. Then you were at first these ones, then these ones, and in the last step, these ones. They have as well no electrical protection at all. They have also no mechanical protection. So it doesn't make sense to put these gloves on the first layer or whatever. These are the electrical protection and these are just to keep the sweat and everything else away from the glove so that this glove is staying okay and good to use for anyone else as well. Okay, if you don't have these, 
These work as well. So when they come together with a package, you have very often the electrical gloves, the mechanical protection, so rubber gloves, leather gloves, and then some sort of these gloves, which you can pull, uh, put under these gloves in order not to get too sweaty within the glove. Okay, very nice. Did I miss anything here? Okay, I just see that guy as well. Oh, that's like a little toy. You see here, I've put a glove on it. I just show you in a second how it looks like. But basically, when you want to really sure and when it should really look professional, how you test the glove, you don't need to roll it up. You have here like a pump, okay? You see, and there you can pump it and see if the air stay within the glove, no holes at all. You can now perfectly see all of the surface. Yeah, well, you can use it, but you don't have to use it. The other way will work as well perfectly. But yeah, if you have some budget left, it's absolutely okay if you buy such a guy. All right, guys, so far so good. That was just a quick overview about handling your PPE or the most important PPE, your gloves. Again, class zero, thousand volt, has to be printed on it. Test date within the last six months has to be printed as well on it. No holes, no irritation of the surface, no damage at all. As soon as you see that something is weird about this pair of gloves or even one glove and yeah, that it doesn't look the way it should look, don't use them anymore because it's just about your own life. Okay, thanks very much. Have a great day.